Hello, Whiskey Hobbit here. Haven't been doing this for quite a while, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, best time to do it when there's an outbreak of a virus and, you know, uh, stuff going on. Why not? Let's just talk about whiskey for a bit. This is Glen Scotia, specifically the Glen Scotia five years old. It's badly written, but you can see it. Five years old. Um, this is from the 1970s, and I bought this at auction for about seven pounds. The Whiskey Miniature Auction, if you type, it, type in um, uh, Whiskey Miniature Auction on Google, you'll find it. It comes around once every couple of months um, by whiskey.auction, where the people who do it. Um, and uh, you can get some really good stuff on there for not a lot of money. I'm not saying this is really good. I've not heard great things about this. It's really kind of meant to be naff. But for seven pounds, it's fifty p cheaper than a miniature I can buy at my work of a Glendronach twelve. So, you know, I'm not saying don't buy the Glendronach twelve because that's good, and I know it is. I've no idea what this is like. Anyway, we'll give it a go. So, yeah, Glen Scotia, Campbelltown Distillery, one of the few remaining, um, and. You know, they've gone through, like a lot of distilleries, a bit of a revamp in recent years. And they've, yeah, turned out some amazing stuff. Um, their current selection, at least. Um, I can't really comment on... Uh, that's not really working. Um, I can't really comment on the rest of their range from, you know, the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, I have seen an, an eight-year-old Glen Scotia, I think, which looks really ugly it's in a big green bottle um and it just looks horrible um this this looks all right you know so it's okay so anyway see the nose isn't that bad for a five-year-old especially like 1970s five-year-old it's quite spirity it's quite spirity very gentle and light, a soft wisp of smoke. And then a little bit medicinal. It's, it's yeah, kind of reminds you of Eilery, New Makey, Fun Times. Um, I'm going to have to get that off. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the, the cap. Anyway, it's really annoying me. Frustrating. Anyway, taste. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's really rough. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. Ah, it's a horrible, horrible taste on your tongue, like rotten mango or something. It's fruity, but not good fruit. It's off fruit. Um, and, and it sticks there, and it lingers for ages. Can't get rid of it. That is disgusting. Oh, that is really bad. <laughs> the smell wasn't that exciting, and the palate is just absolutely disgusting. I can't give that a good review in any respect. That's probably, I'm gonna give that uh, 65 out of 100. It's really quite unpleasant. Um, it, it's sort of down there with crappy blends that no one wants to drink, that kind of, or just crap, just, just crap. It's really crap. Um, would not buy that again, ever. F fuck that, it's disgusting. Um, Yeah, it's weird because it doesn't actually smell that bad. It smells like it could be good or it could be a bit naff. It doesn't smell necessarily promising, but it doesn't smell horrible. Oh, fucking hell. Ah! Oh, that's gross. Yeah, no, that's 50 out. That's... that's that, that, 
40, 40 out of 100, there we go. Fuck that, don't buy, do not buy this. It is horrible. Um, next time, and I don't know when it'll be, I'll be reviewing another miniature whiskey, which apparently is also awful, so that'll be great. Um, but yeah, until next time. <laughs>